What's going on guys? Also here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we are looking at the new team of the season objective player and it is going to be Kempembe to review today. Now if you guys follow me on Twitch, you would know that I've been waiting for this card. I've said multiple times live on stream, I am waiting for that team of the season Kempembe. I want to see how much of a boost they actually give him to the pace and I want to see how good he actually is in that center back position. And when I saw him as an objective card, I got instantly happy and kind of surprised at the same time because we did not expect a team of the season Kempembe to be an objective card. We really didn't because if this card was on the market, I'll probably say like 400k plus for him easily. But as a free card, we will take it. He has got 86 pace, 80 dribbling, 91 defending, 93 physicals with a 78 passing as well. He is a six foot two player with high, high work rates, two star skill moves and a three star weak foot. Kind of disappointed they didn't give this guy a skill move or even weak foot upgrade. I was low key expecting two star, four star, but hey, we can't complain. It's a team of the season, a team of the season objective card, which is obviously Kempembe. So not much to complain about that. Now, when it comes down to the chem star, we are looking at the shadow chem star. For me, the Shadow Chem style is simply the way to go. You don't need to boost up the strength. You don't need to boost up the aggression because it's already amazing. So you might as well just give this guy plus 10 acceleration with plus 10 sprint speed, making him go up to 95 acceleration and 97 sprint speed. Let's just say there's not going to be many players outpacing this guy. Now the shooting ability, 38 finishing. Move on. Passing ability, 70 vision, 92 short passing with the 87 long passing as well. So it does look like Kempembe is going to be one of those players that's going to be able to export a ball over to his fullbacks or even to his wingers. But as soon as you go for an LBY all the way down the line with that 70 vision, it's most likely going to go out the pitch. But you never know. We're going to see how it goes. Maybe they're lying to us. Maybe we are seeing 70 vision, but maybe it's a whole different story in game. Now he's dribbling ability. He has got 83 agility, 82 balance 87 reactions 86 ball control 74 dribbling with the 92 composure everything looks very good for a center back apart from the 74 dribbling that right there could be a little bit of an issue but we'll see how it goes defending stats he has got 99 interceptions 94 heading accuracy 94 defensive awareness 99 standing tackling with the 99 slide tackling as well saying that this guy is six foot two that means he's going to have a good interception reach and tackle reach i'm expecting him to be an, an amazing center back now his physicality he has got 87 jumping 89 stamina 93 strength with a 97 aggression as well he's going to be a player that's not just going to catch up to the, like pretty much all the strikers. He's also going to be able to push them off the ball. And that is something you want to see. Now, when it comes down to the links for this guy, links is simply amazing. Like, as soon as you see the French flag and as soon as you see that PSG badge, you know the links in FIFA 21 is going to be crazy, crazy good. So I have personally gone for Desai and your boy Awa. Now, we're not going to talk about this red card with uh, Alfonso Davis. It was rigged. Let's just say that. We're just going to move past that. Now, when it comes down to the positions, one position, one position only. Centre-back position in a 4-4-2 formation. But let's get into the games. Can Pembe get out to him? Don't allow him to turn. Well played. He was actually on the other side of Pirlo, and he managed to still put that tackle in. Let's see how he feels. A little fake shot there. A little ball roll. Oh, okay. There's certain touches right there that didn't seem comfortable at all. But well, I tell you what, he doesn't feel bad on the ball at all. For a centre-back, he does feel pretty good. Let's switch the play just to see if this is going to be possible. And obviously it is. No pass into the middle. Get out to him. Well played, man. You go out to him really quickly. Can I go for a ball roll? I'm, oh, I was about to say, I'm kind of, you know, testing my luck out here. That's way, way too far to go with Kempembe. But I like how you put in a very aggressive tackle there. Give it to Kempembe here. Go for a ball roll. Kind of want to go through that gap before I go for that switch. Oh my god, that was insanely lucky. And that switch to the other side was so off. It was crazy. I knew it was off as soon as I saw it go that high. As soon as you see the ball go that high, there's no way it's going to drop in time. He's going to try to pass a CR7 maybe. Kempembe is going to get out there really fast and just put in a beautiful interception. Get out to him. Get out to him. There you go. Do you see how fast he actually gets out there, man? That is so good from a centre-back because you know he's not going to be one of those players. Hold up. Oh, my God. Please. Hull it. There you go. That's why Hull it's in the team. You know he's going to be one of those players that you can really go out and press with. You don't have to sit back with. He's passed down. I'm going to see if I can maybe time this tackle. He's going to try to do us. I'm going to go for a slide tackle. And it was expected, to be fair. I knew it was going to be a penalty. Listen, if that was not a penalty, 
I would have been very surprised because, to be fair, I did kind of go through him, but he did get the ball a little bit. Is he going to shoot this? I kind of want him to shoot this because I know Kempembe is just going to put in a block either way. But we did get the tackle in with him, give him the ball, smack an LBY. Nah, this is what I mean. Those kind of passes don't really work with him. And I believe it's because of the vision. That vision is so important when it comes down to doing those LBYs and what a block that is. Is he going to try to get in behind? I reckon he is. There you go. He's not going to, you know, Convenve is not going to allow you to get in behind that easy. Little ball roll. Fake shot in front of him. One more time. We're going to go for the LBY. Hold up. See if I can create the angle again. I'm telling you, boys, he doesn't feel bad on the ball at all. But you can clearly tell there's certain touches with him. I think we're conceding. Yeah, we are conceding. There's certain touches of him that isn't the greatest. So for me, I wouldn't overdo with him. Just try to keep it a bit more simple because if you don't, you're going to concede. It's simple as that. We're going to try this one more time. It's literally wide open. Literally wide open. And yeah, he can't do it. So I'm telling you guys right now, the LBYs with this guy when trying to hit it down the line just doesn't work because of that vision. If his vision was slightly better, then those passes would work very consistently. But it's just not, is it? So just try to, you know, keep it a bit more simple when it comes down to the passing as well. Don't try to overdo it. Just go for the X balls towards the fullbacks and maybe the X balls towards the wingers as well. Just don't LBY it. There's a massive gap through that middle. Don't allow him in behind. Well played. Really good interception. Nice shielding as well. And really good pass under pressure. I'm kind of surprised, by the way, he actually got that interception because it didn't look like he was going to get it gonna pass down isn't he you know what that's a bad touch we're gonna to take advantage we're gonna go straight into the guy and just go for a slide tackle once again Kempembe getting out to his opponent really really quick and that's gonna be the x-balls I was talking about really nice pass get out to him once again see if you can maybe get an early tackle when he uses his strength to body off that player and the referee calls it back for a foul for me there's no foul there Press him, hull it. Oh, we couldn't get him. Is he going to go up? He go. He tries to go through the middle, but he's not going to work out. Kempembe definitely does block that out. Going to see if I can transition over. He does well. Reaches that somehow. Bro, look how fast his transition speed is. Like, look at him. You can literally just go left, right. Your opponent's never going to know when you're going to fully commit. You come out with the interception. You start running with Kempembe. He pushes the player off the ball. And you play not so... A great through ball. Keep it going. Keep... Okay. It's eventually going to end. <laughs> Kempembe don't allow that skill move. There you go. Well played. Solid tackle. Continue to run with it. Is anyone going to make a run? You know what? We're going to go for that wide ball through that gap. It's going to be a perfect pass. Can we get him an assist? No. No. What a save. I think that's Neuer in goal as well. I'm going to bring Alaba out of position simply because I want to see Kempembe's defensive awareness. I want to see what he's actually going to do. And he actually covers the gap really well. He catches up to Royce and obviously we eventually put in the tackle. Now, there was obviously a certain point that I had to switch to him because he wasn't fully running towards Royce. But he did well just to close off the gap. So it is time to review and we ended up playing three games with Kempembe. We did not come out of a goal and we did not come out of an assist, but that was expected. We wasn't going into this thinking we're going to get a goal, we're going to get an assist, especially with play people playing tap sober in that centre-back position so often. Now, we know that that guy is six foot four, and a player that's six foot two, even with 87 jumping, is still not going to out-head of that guy. So yeah, we didn't go into this thinking that we was going to get a goal. Either way, the card is free. Do I believe it's worth the grind? Do I believe it's worth the time to put into? 100%. Not just because of his ability, because of the links he gets as well. We all know how many good French players there are in this game. And we all know how many good PSG players there are in this game. So the amount of links that you can get with this guy is simply ridiculous. So yeah, boys, it's worth the grind to put into, but that was expected. Now, when it comes down to the ratings, let's start off with the pace. Pace-wise, I would say a 9.6 out of 10. He was an extremely, extremely quick player. And I was showing you guys in multiple occasions how fast he was actually getting out to his opponent, but how fast his transition speed actually was. So yeah, for the pace, 9.6 out of 10. We're not going to give him one for the shooting because it literally doesn't make sense. So for the shooting, we push it to a side. Passing ability, it was what we expected. I told you guys at the start that 
you're probably going to have to export it way more than LBY with this guy. Because if you try to LBY with this guy, with a player that's only got 70 vision, it's most likely going to go too close to the defender or it's going to go out of the pitch. So yeah, that is what I expected and that is what we got pretty much. So for the passing, I would still give it a good rating. And I would say, I would say like an 8.4 out of 10. Like the exports with this guy works perfectly. It's just the LBYs, because of that 70 vision, it doesn't work. Moving on to the drilling ability. You saw multiple occasions. I was dribbling with this guy. He didn't feel too bad on the ball. There were certain occasions that he didn't take the greatest of touches. And that is why we eventually lost it. But when it comes down to his R1 dribbling and left stick dribbling, it really doesn't feel bad. So for the dribbling, I would say, I would say like an 8.2. An 8.2 out of 10. Defending. My God, was this guy good at defending. Like the tackles this guy was putting in, the slide tackles, the defensive awareness, the interceptions. They were amazing. I'm going to be real. They really were. And the blocks, by the way, this guy literally out of nowhere, he will get his foot and just put it up here just to get a block in. That's how good it is. So for defending, I am going to give him, I would say, I, I want to give him a 10 out of 10 so bad, but I'm going to be honest, I'm going to give him a 9.8. A 9.8 out of 10. For defending, the only reason I'm not going to give this guy a 10 out of 10 is because then I will be sitting here comparing him to, comparing him to someone like Tapsoba when it comes down to his tackling ability. And for me, Tapsoba is slightly better. So moving on to the physicals, his physicality was really, really nice as well. The, guy, the way the guy was going up to players and just pushing them off the ball was really good to see. So physicals, I would say, I would say like a 9.5 out of 10. But an overall rating out of 10 for team of the season campaign. Pembe, I would say a 9.5 out of 10. For me, he's an amazing centre-back with his pace, with his defending and with his physicality. It's just there is certain things to this card that obviously could have been improved. Like his dribbling could have been a little bit better and that vision could have been a little bit better. So I don't want to go overboard, but a 9.5 out of 10 for Team of the Season Kempembe seems very reasonable. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.